they look pretty good. Um, my first batch I cooked, I put them for 20 minutes, took it out like at 7. So probably not that long. I just took these out. They look pretty good. Um, so I'm guessing like let them sit for 10 minutes in there and bake because I do like the color. Um, I do like them looking like that. Um, mm. Oh, they taste delicious. They really do. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're so good. Um, I love mushrooms. Mm. I can't begin to tell you how much I love mushrooms. So, um, there's something, like, I have another, I have more in the fridge. Um, probably make those over the weekend so they don't go bad. And... Next time I make them, I'm going to put bread crumbs in them. Um, a little bit more spices in them. I even put a little bit of my vegan cheese. Mm. This is the kind I bought this time because it's the only kind Walmart had at the time. And I have two or three more bags down in my drawer that I keep an eye on. Um... Yeah, I'm going to put some more, like, Italian seasoning in this. <sighs> oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying not to have heartburn. Um, I took a pill before I went and laid down and took a nap. Hmm. Okay. Oh, just where it was. It's so good. Hmm. And these aren't hot. Um, I will be making these more often because um, I love my stuffed mushrooms. And my thought was, I'm already planning on November buying my food processor because in November, back. A couple years ago, I had make a vegan turkey. It was so good. And then, um, for Christmas, I had made a vegan ham. And yes, it does come with, like, a vegan sauce to put, like, a... When you make a ham, it comes with that sauce, whatever. Um, yeah. So, um... And I looked up a recipe for roast beef. I found a recipe for roast beef, too. Uh, sorry. But, um, yeah, November is going to be my, um, food processor month. And that way, like, when I pull the stems out of the mushrooms, I can put those in the food processor along with everything but the cream cheese. And I can mix it all together, and then I can put it in a bowl and mix the cream cheese with it. I use vegan mayonnaise for this. It don't taste that bad. No, it don't taste bad. And I add a little bit of cheese to it. Um, oh, it's delicious. I can't begin. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm learning how to cook all this shit at home because I'm on a fixed income, and I'm trying to save money. I just got a place to live after seven years of being homeless. So my thought is, if I start saving money back now, then in a year, it won't be as hard for me to do, and my mindset will be good. Um, I moved into this unit in May, so it's been three months, and I'm trying really hard, like, um, I mean, like, I love Chinese. So this month, August, is going to be all about Learning how to make my Chinese. Um, I'm not a big rice eater, but I do like rice and raisins. And I'm going to try to make, like, chicken fried rice. Um, only it won't be chicken. Um, and different dishes like um, veggie stir fry and stuff like that. 
I got to wait till my EBT comes in so I can buy my sauces. Because I went to Walmart and they didn't have a one. They didn't even have my coconut one. I, I, yeah. Um, but next week I'm going to order my sauces. And get my ginger and get that stuff going. And then um, as, as I go, I can make things that I would normally order out. And that way I can make them at home. Because here's the thing. Like, once you've made them, like, okay, not so much mushrooms. Because mushrooms you probably can't freeze. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I haven't figured it out. But make these, like, a spur of the moment. You don't really want to cook. So you get mushrooms. You can make the stuff up. I made the stuff up earlier today. And then before I took my nap, I peeled the duty things out of them. And I wiped them off good yesterday. Put them back clean. And then... Like an hour ago, it's 7 o'clock now, I stuffed them and went and baked them. So, okay, fine. Um, but like Chinese, you can make that in advance, let it cool down, and then freeze it. And then when you want it, like you get like me, if you get like me, I don't want to cook. And yet, I don't want to order out because I don't have a car, so it'd be an Uber or something. And on top of that, you're paying $3.99 to $5.99 or more to have somebody bring it to you. No, 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 no. I can, I can cook it up, let it cool down, put it in my freezer, pull it out, heat it up. Tastes like I just made it. Um, this winter, I'm also going to, I got to get me a crock pot because I love my vegan lasagna. And I can make that. And what I do is put it together, put it in the crock pot, turn it on just enough to make the cheese melt, turn it off, let it sit, you cut it up into pieces, you put it in your freezer, and then when you want lasagna, you just pull the container out and eat it. And, um, yeah. So, um, oh, these are so good. Um, not kidding you, these are really good. Um, when I make them again this weekend, I'll show you how I did the, um, insides. Um, I just took... Like a couple big spoonfuls of um, my vegan mayonnaise. I took a couple big spoonfuls of this. Um, put it in a bowl. I took my cheese, sprinkled some of that in there. I put some garlic powder, some onion powder. Um, and you can put um, breadcrumbs in it. Okay, so I know a lot of people are going to say a true cook measures everything out. Okay, so here's my way of thinking. And I'm not saying you have to go by that. This is how I do it. I don't measure things. I just pour some stuff in there. I mix it up. Taste it. It tastes good. Okay, you're good. Yes, I probably should measure things out. But I don't. I just, I know what I'd like. So I just, I just pour some in there. I'm good to go. But, um, these are so good. And honestly, I just ate two big bowls of, um, vegan potato salad before I laid down and took a nap. I'm still stuffed, overly stuffed. And now I gotta finish these so I can be done for the night. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, um, tomorrow I will be eating mushroom caps. And tomorrow I will show you, um, all that stuff. 